Today I'm going to show you how to get rid of a stuck windshield washer light on your car. Now we know that the windshield washer fluid is working properly. And of course you've made sure that your washer fluid is topped all the way up. Now since the washer fluid is full, we know it's most likely an issue with the sensor down there that's causing the dashboard light to come on. Now the windshield washer reservoir and sensor is located under the bumper cover, so we're going to need to remove it in order to get access to it. The first thing we're going to do is remove the front bumper cover. This here is your washer tank, and this is the pump. And this here is the sensor for the fluid level. This here is what the sensor looks like. It's basically a float that moves around with the level of the washer fluid. There's a magnet at the bottom here, so when it reaches the bottom, it sends a signal out to the dashboard to turn on the light to remind you to top up your fluid. Now sometimes the float in this sensor gets stuck in the down position even though you've topped up your fluid. So sometimes you might just need to give it a little bit of encouragement to tap it to bring it back up to the top. So I've got my multimeter connected to the sensor. And as you can see, I'm measuring resistance. It's almost zero, which means that it's closed circuit and the fluid sensor is stuck on the down position. So to get a better of idea how this sensor is functioning, I'm going to have to remove it. There is a rubber seal here that protects the washer fluid from draining out. So I'm just going to use a screwdriver here, come in and slowly pry down on the sensor. And we're going to let the washer fluid slowly drain into the jug. Now quickly before I took this out, I noticed that the sensor is actually up and it's not sitting at the bottom, which, which I thought it would be. So I'm going to just put this back for the second. And I'm going to measure the resistance again to see if I fixed it. Despite the float being up, I've got my multimeter on there and I'm still reading 0 ohms, which means that it's a closed circuit and that sensor is malfunctioning. Alright, so now I'm going to remove the sensor for good because I know this sensor is a bad sensor. I'm just going to let this drain. Yo. Well, there you go. One full bucket of washer fluid is equal to one full tank of washer fluid on the Canadian model Honda Accord. I've got my multimeter on the terminals of the old sensor that came out of the washer tank and as I move this back and forth you can see that the resistance doesn't change. It should be changing from open circuit to closed circuit and it's not. So we know that this sensor is defective. So as a comparison I've got my replacement sensor here. As I move it up I can see it goes to 0 ohms which is closed circuit and then I move it down it goes back to 1 which is infinity ohms or open circuit so I know this sensor is working properly. I'm going to replace the sensor into the washer tank. Now just for fun if you take one of these things apart you'll see we've got the float here with a little magnet inside and you take out the sensor part we've got a little magnetic reed switch. Now how the reed switch works is we've got two ferrous metals that are spaced very close apart and they close when the presence of a magnetic field is there that causes the resistance to go to zero. So I've got the gasket that came out of the washer tank I'm just going to install that first into the tank and once that's secured I'm going to insert the new sensor into the washer tank and make sure it's sealed all the way around. Then I'm going to reinstall my electrical connections and then put that back onto the tank and then I can refill my washer fluid now before you put the bumper back on, make sure you double check for leaks around this area. Finally we're going to replace the bumper cover. And finally we're going to start the vehicle. And make sure that the windshield washer fluid light does not stay on. So just for fun I've opened one of these windshield washer pumps. If I open the side here you'll see that there's a little impeller. The windshield washer fluid goes in through here, up the middle and then out here. And then now if I remove the impeller from the back here, I'm going to remove the contacts and then the sleeve and the motor shaft. And it's pretty much all that makes up your washer pump. It's just a DC motor spinning an impeller.